Well, that's the problem. The James Webb Space Telescope is upsetting the apple cart. Renowned American theoretical physicist Michio Kaku just shared a stunning discovery made by the James Webb Space Telescope change everything we know about the cosmos and its existence. NASA's $10 billion telescope, which was launched in December 2021, has just spotted six gargantuan galaxies, each roughly the size of our own Milky Way. Yes, a group of galaxies from the dawn of the universe that are so massive, they shouldn't exist. These were first spotted as a series of fuzzy dots that appeared unusually bright and unusually red. The six giant galaxies, which contain almost as many stars as the Milky Way despite forming only 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang, have been dubbed universe breakers by the team of astronomers that spotted them. That's because if they are real, the discovery calls our entire understanding of galaxy formation into question. Explaining the existence of such massive galaxies, this close to the dawn of time, would require scientists to revisit the basic rules of cosmology and the understanding of how the first galaxies were seeded from small clouds of stars and dust. It is not expected that the early universe will be able to organize itself that quickly. These galaxies theoretically should not have had time to form, while scientists don't know exactly when the first clumps of stars began to merge into the beginnings of the galaxies we see today. Cosmologists have previously estimated that the process began slowly taking shape within the first few hundred million years after the Big Bang. Now, the discovery of such massive galaxies so soon after the Big Bang suggests that the Dark Ages may not have been so dark after all, and that the universe may have been awash with star formation far earlier than we thought. Currently accepted theories have stated that one to two billion years into the universe's life, these early proto-galaxies reached adolescence, forming into dwarf galaxies that began devouring each other to grow into ones, like our own Milky Way galaxy. Because light travels at a fixed speed through the vacuum of space, the deeper we peer into the universe, the more remote light we are able to intercept, and the further back in time we can see. By using the James Webb Space Telescope to peer roughly 13.5 billion years into the past, the astronomers found that enormous galaxies had already burst into life very quickly after the Big Bang when the universe was just 3% of its current age. These galaxies appeared to be roughly 13.5 billion years old, placing them about 500 million to 700 million years after the Big Bang. So, according to our current cosmological models, these galaxies should not have had time to form. This forces us to rethink everything we know. The galaxies are so massive, that they are in tension with 99% of the models for cosmology. This means that either the models will need to be altered, or scientific understanding of galaxy formation requires a fundamental rethink. Either way, it is a shocking discovery by Webb, once again. The Milky Way forms about one to two new stars every year. These galaxies would have to be forming hundreds of new stars a year for the entire history of the universe. Moreover, those galaxies appear to hold up to 10 billion times the mass of our sun and stars. One of them might contain the mass of 100 billion suns. If even one of these galaxies is real, it will push against the limits of our understanding of cosmology. Right now, all evidence points to these celestial objects being galaxies but the astronomers haven't ruled out that some of them might be enormous quasars or supermassive black holes. Previous imaging of the early universe by the Hubble Space Telescope didn't detect the giant galaxies, but the JWST is about 100 times more powerful than Hubble. The Space Observatory was designed to read the earliest chapters of the universe's history in its faintest glimmers of light and has been delivering on its promise ever since its launch. 
This is not the first time Webb has forced us to rethink our understanding of the cosmos. Only last year, it made a groundbreaking discovery about the Big Bang Theory. Rowan Naidoo was sitting at home when he found a galaxy that nearly broke cosmology. As his algorithm dug through early images from the James Webb Space Telescope, he shot to attention. It had sifted out an object that, on closer inspection, was inexplicably massive and dated back to just 300 million years after the Big Bang, older than any galaxy ever seen before. At that moment, Rowan knew that it might be the most distant starlight we had ever seen. Days later, he published a paper on the Candidate Galaxy, which was named Glassy 13, and the internet exploded. The extraordinary discovery of this galaxy, just weeks into Webb's full operations, was beyond astronomers' wildest dreams. The cosmic dawn now started to look like a bright cosmic afternoon. In the weeks and months following Webb's findings of surprisingly early galaxies, blindsided theorists and observers have been scrambling to explain them. Were these galaxies the first hints that the universe is stranger and more complex than even our boldest theories had supposed? At stake is nothing less than our very understanding of how the orderly universe we know emerged from primordial chaos. Hubble's record for the most distant known galaxy had been GNZ 11, spotted in 2015, at a redshift of 11, thanks to a 2009 upgrade to the telescope that enhanced its modest infrared capabilities. A redshift of 11 corresponds to a cosmic age of about 400 million years after the Big Bang, a point at the brink of when galaxy formation was thought to begin. Webb's early revelations could be poised to rewrite the opening chapters of cosmic history, which concern not only distant epochs and faraway galaxies, but also our own existence here, in the familiar Milky Way. You build these machines not to confirm the paradigm, but to break it, said Webb scientist Mark Cogrian at the European Space Agency. You just don't know how it will break. As light from a very distant galaxy travels across the cosmic abyss, it is stretched by the expansion of the universe, a broadening of wavelengths known as redshift. The higher the redshift value, the more stretching the light has experienced, and thus, the more distant its source galaxy will be. Redshifts for early galaxies are so high that their emitted visible light has stretched into infrared by the time it arrives at our telescopes. But with Glassy 13, at a redshift of 13, it is placed some 300 years after the Big Bang. Could galaxies form so early in the universe? Although more study is needed to be done on the emerging primordial candidates, Scientists hypothesized that smaller galaxies could have formed early in the universe, and that might explain the likes of Glassy 13. Little did they know that Webb was just beginning to unearth the universe. In the following days, dozens of galaxy candidates from Sears and Glass sprung into view, with estimated redshifts as high as 20, just 180 million years after the Big Bang, some with disk-like structures, that were not expected to manifest so early in cosmic history. And now, a discovery has been made unlike any other, and with it, the cracks in cosmology have started to appear. While scanning a region of the cosmos near the Big Dipper, a group of astronomers identified six faint objects as they appeared well over 13 billion years ago. They suspect the objects are ancient galaxies, Scientists expect such early collections of stars and swirling matter to be relatively small. After all, such galaxies hadn't had much time to form or grow. But these galaxies are giants. It's bananas because the objects, which are red and bright in the web observations, might host billions of stars similar to our Milky Way galaxy. These galaxies formed some 500 to 700 million years after the universe was created, during the Big Bang, and at such a time, 
there simply shouldn't have been enough matter around to create fantastic bursts of stars and solar systems. The extremely distant galaxies are the fuzzy red objects, as shown here. They are red because the universe is expanding, and the light traveling through it becomes stretched out, ultimately shifting to longer, redder wavelengths. Importantly, the research about these galaxies is just the beginning. There is potential, for example, that some of these bright red masses are a different kind of primordial object, like a quasar, intensely hot, energetic matter, spinning around a black hole and emitting tremendous amounts of light into space. However, we aren't sure, just how we aren't sure about the many mysteries of the universe. But one thing is for certain, the birth of the universe is now under intense scrutiny, and whatever comes out of web data, I hope we use them to form a better origins story of the universe, because what is science without constant upgrades and understanding? What do you guys have to say? Drop in your comments to let us know, and don't forget to subscribe to Lab360, because together, we will explore.